They bring in Vince Carter here in a moment, uh, who certainly is very familiar with LeBron's superpowers. And based on his previous outings in Game 7s, uh, Sunday should be a pretty special one yet again. You have to wonder, though, 3D, did Clay Thompson play with a very dangerous fire? Yes, he did. Anytime a giant like that sleep, you leave him sleep, Brent. You not want to wake him up and get him going. The last two games, LeBron James have reminded everybody how good he really is. Well, you combine that with a little bit of desperation, and then you get this, 3D. No question about it. Right here, we're talking about the space LeBron James is having. He's attacking the defense. Every time he backs up like that, he gives himself more space to see where the defense is coming, if they're going to trap, if they're going to switch, and this is when they pitch him apart, Brent. Yeah, the other thing is, is he's not really worried about the first defender on him. I mean, LeBron James is is too gifted of an offensive player to worry about one guy in front of him. He's surveying the floor with all that spacing, and he's seeing where his teammates are lining up. He knows where the help side defense is coming from, and then he's able to make his decisions. It's unbelievable that now LeBron James is shooting the ball with so much confidence. I think that's the key for a lot of us, how you attack the defense. Right here, poor decision to go on the top side. Now you attack the paint. And when you're in attack mode, we've talked about it, no bogey. Now he can see the floor. You say, wait a minute. The Cavs do not move. Now they're moving better out the ball. Now you have the shooter on the wing, Tristan Thompson on the baseline for the alley-oop dunk. This is LeBron James asking his teammates to have better ball movement, better play movement. Same thing once again, create space, get up on him, make him make an early decision. Now you're in no man's land. I like the back line defense there, keeping an eye on LeBron James, but you have to understand, if you don't get the ball in his hands early, he will pick you apart. Now we take it to the court. So lots of room for LeBron James where he's operating. We thought we'd show you on the court just in terms of the spacing what it is that LeBron is is seeing from the Golden State Warriors uh, given how they're playing them soft with the ball. So Vince I'm going to have you be LeBron. Hey, uh, LeBron LeBron iPhone. has been Vince huh? and Vince has been <laughs> LeBron. LeBron. Trust me in shoot around. <laughs> Our researcher Kevin Cottrell defender extraordinaire is going to play on the weak side on the shooter. And then 3D is going to play down low on Tristan Thompson. So what the Warriors are getting themselves into defensively is the fact that they're playing LeBron, obviously, for the jump shot, but they're giving up this much space, Vince. So as a great scorer, what is it that you're assessing when somebody's giving you this kind of room? Well, being that LeBron's so, so powerful, he knows if he gets, if you're giving me this much room and I can get a head start, get my body on you, he backs up and then he gets going. If he gets into the middle, he now has you beat on his hip, you have to respect him getting all the layups that they've gotten all, all series long to step up here. So now he has options. He still has his corner three. He has a corner three. And of course, he has a lob here. Now, I want you to stay right there. All of the basketballs on the floor represent where the Cavs are. So let's say I'm Clay Thompson. and I'm the weak side guard and the three point shooter as 3D moves up and tries to stop LeBron James. I've got to get underneath Tristan Thompson, who's getting rebound position. Now we're giving up something else, which is this corner three, and LeBron's able to find that too. Which now you put the press, pressure on this defender here. Depending on if this is the, the knockdown shooter or the knockdown shooter, he has to be prepared to either stay home or be the next man to rotate back to uh, not allow him to get that three-point shot. So let's reset it and think about maybe what Golden State might try to do, Vince, in terms of speeding up the possessions uh, for the Cleveland Cavaliers in these ISO situations. What I see them maybe doing 3D okay. is stepping up, removing this space from LeBron James and getting into the body and determining which way they want him to go. So let's say we're in a force right situation. Immediately as LeBron backs up, if I'm Harrison Barnes or Andre Iguodala, I'm stepping towards him and making sure that he's going right. And as he starts to go, even if he stops and hesitate dribble and pulls back, I'm stepping back to his body. And I'm going right. What are you doing here, 3D, as he gets beat? Well, it depends on who this is. If this is J.R. Smith or this is Kyrie Irving, I'm staying home because I don't want them to get loose. If this is Richard Jefferson, I can show early, but make or sure Shumper. I get back. Or Shumper, because they can make timely shots when they're not knockdown shooters. So you want to show your numbers early to make LeBron James think you're going to double team him so he can maybe swing the ball to the weak so side. So you take away the shooter. Kev, you come and replace me real quick because I'm going to show you the big and his responsibility in this. Kev is up now. We're in a hard right force. I know for sure I've got support for Kevin. He's going to get beat. LeBron's going to come. I'm coming over here and now the situation is we're committed to LeBron giving up the ball. We're going to make him find these shooters. Can he find them? We know he will, but we're not having LeBron James beat us in one-on-one -on -one isolation play. Let's also say real quick, the comfort thing, the one thing about that, you take him, LeBron from being comfortable. Mm -hmm. Most teams, they put the, when you put the pressure on the ball, now if he sits here with no pressure, he can see it. Right. The difference here, you want him to turn his shoulders a little bit. Now when he backs up, whatever, he's still here. He goes now under duress. Everybody steps up. He has to either run this guy over 
or allow somebody else to take the shot, which they want LeBron to make the decision and take the shot if possible. Let's go back to pick and roll situation just real quick because we know the ISOs can be about stepping up and taking up space. What if the Golden State Warriors, instead of doing what they do and they've been resigned to switching all these screen and rolls, decide to trap LeBron James? So Kevin's coming over on the screen and now we're trapping LeBron. What we're saying at this point is we are going to make LeBron James give the ball up and have somebody else beat us. But there's also critical thought process as to where that first pass is going to go. Is that right, Vince? Correct. Correct. It depends. They've, we've seen them put Shumpert in the corner where mm -hmm. they're trying to put him out of, the, out of the way. So that's the guy they want them to make the pass to is in the corner. So you make sure you have high hands. You stay home on your, on your strong side shooter and, your, of course, your first pass ahead of you. And now you step in on, on Thompson and you want to, that pass to Shumpert to be the guy uh, to have the ball and take the shot. All right, let's come back and let's talk a little bit about Game seven and what you think Golden State is going to do in, in this situation 3D. Is it going to be one stringent thing that they stick to? You think there's going to be a multitude of defenses they throw at LeBron? How do you see it? It's got to be a multitude. LeBron's too smart and too savvy of a player. Now we're at game seven. You heard him talk about it earlier today. He's gotten better each game. And we've been around Steve Kerr long enough. You're not going to give LeBron James a steady diet of the same defense right. all game long. I think you have to mix it up. But I think all we all three agree. Get the ball out of LeBron's hands. Let someone else beat you as a great scorer Vince what are the things I mean not to give away all your secrets but what are the things that, that were disruptive for you when you had yourself an offensive of course, rhythm when you put when you put two guys on, on on me and I have to make a decision if I want if I feel like I can score on my defender and I'm in attack board and all of a sudden now there's another guy coming particularly instead of, of Jeff Van Gundy and the, play the Knicks when I used to bring the ball over at half court I try to get in the middle of the floor now doing that you, you make them are you going to double team or are you going to play me one-on-one? -on -one? Now you got kind of make the game easier for everyone else and you just have to make the decision. So seeing that double team was probably most frustrating because you had to give the ball up. Of course, they'll give you the ball back. But if you do a great job denying, then somebody else shoots it, they miss it. You kind of get frustrated, but you, you deal with it. LeBron James and his greatness in Game 7 on the offensive end. It's going to be very interesting to see how the Golden State Warriors end up going.